Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn about various image smoothening and blurring techniques using OpenCV and Python. So first we will start by importing the important libraries like the OpenCV library. I run this and next I load an image of a bottle, water bottle uh, in the variable image using the cv2.imbeat function and next I display the image uh, using the normal mat.lib function. So this is an image and as we, we are seeing since the previous video that uh, cv2.imbeat read, reads the image by default in a BGR color format. So I will convert this one into an RB, RGB format by using the cv2.convertColor function from OpenCV. So I will name the image as image underscore RGB since it will be an RGB image and I will use the cv2 dot cvt color convert color function to convert the original image that is the img is it img yeah img and I convert it to uh, and I convert using the cv2 dot color underscore bgr to rgb using this particular function and this function will convert this image from bgr format to rgb format and i will display it using the matplotlib function so i run this and i will show the image image underscore rgb so As we can see this is a blue colored water bottle and now we will try to blur this whole image. So we will use various blurring techniques. So let's take a look at each one of them one by one. So first I will take an example of cv2.blur function which will blur the image. Uh, it simply takes the average of all the pixels under, the, under a matrix, under an image matrix and it will replace the central element by the average value of all the all the pixels in this matrix so i will run this i will write the code and i will explain it to you once again so i'll name it as plu blurred image equals cv2 dot blur function and the original image is image underscore rgb and next i mentioned the the matrix size so the matrix size will be 100 comma 100 so this is the matrix size so this particular function will take a matrix of 100 by 100 pixels it will take the average value out of these 100 by 100 matrix the pixels can, can inside this 100 by 100 matrix and it will find out the average and it will replace the central element of the pixel with this average value and this particular function will help us in blurring out this particular image so I run this and next I will display the blurred image and you will be able to see how it I was able to blur the image so I paste it here and I just change the variable blu blurred image and I run this so as you can see this is a blurred image but if you you can play around with the matrix size according to the image that you take while you are practicing so this particular blur function we were able to blur this image so we have used a normal uh, blurring function where it took the average value of all the pixels but next we will take an example of a median filter uh, where it will take instead of taking the average value of all the pixels in the matrix it will take the median value instead of average value so let us write a code for that as well so I will name it as median blur equals cv2 dot median blur so this is the median blur function and i named the 
I want I I name the original image that is image underscore RGB on which I want to apply this median blur. So the next time mention the matrix size and remember that in median blur you can only give an odd value and you cannot give an even value. So I take a filter or a matrix of size 101 by 101. So here I just mentioned one parameter unlike the previous one where I mentioned two parameters that is x by y yeah, I mentioned only one parameter that is 101 and next I I run this part of code and next I see the median blur Medi median blur and it will display okay so as you can see it is blurred as com it is much better it blur the edges uh, if you compare it with the normal average average in blur the edges were also blurred but in this uh, median blur the edges edges are preserved which is really a good thing so i actually like median blur compared to rest other blurring techniques so next uh, i'll take a we'll take a look at the gaussian blur so gaussian blur there are two types of gaussian blur not not exactly two types one is gaussian blur and another one is bilateral blurring so first i'll take an example of gaussian blur so what gaussian blur or gaussian filter does is it takes the neighborhood around a pixel and it finds the gaussian weighted average it finds the gaussian weighted average of that particular filter so i won't go into the uh, uh, the mathematical mathematical part of this but uh, i i will definitely make another video about it so uh, subscribe to my channel in order to get to know whenever i upload that video so the gaussian blur takes the neighborhood around a particular pixel and it finds its gaussian weighted average and this filter is is, is is a function of space alone that is nearby pixels are considered while filtering it doesn't consider whether pixels have almost the same intensity it doesn't consider whether the pixel is an edge or if, if the pixel is not an edge so it 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 blurs the edges as well so which is not actually desirable but just for the purpose of learning i will write a code for gaussian blur as well gaussian blur equals cv2 dot gaussian and i mentioned the original image image underscore gb and next i mentioned the matrix size that is even this uh, matrix should be an odd value so i take it as 101 and the next parameter is the deviation or the space so I take it as zero. So as I said, I won't go much deeper into the mathematical part. So next I I run this part of code. Okay, there is some error. This is I in spelling mistake. Now I run this successfully. So I'll use the sa same matplotlib function in order to see the see the output of this particular filter. So I just copy this part in order to avoid any spelling mistakes. Control C and okay, Control C, Control V and execute. So as you can see, this is a uh, is an output of Gaussian blur. You can see that you can notice that the edges have been blurred as well, which is not desirable. The median uh, the median blur was much better in comparison to the Gaussian blur. So next we will take an example of a bilateral filter. So bilateral filter takes into consideration the Gaussian filter for space and Gaussian filter for pixel difference. So Gaussian filter for space using the uses the nearby pixels for blurring and the other filter of intensity uses only those pixels whose intensity is similar to the central pixel. So it preserves the edges as uh, edges have varying intensity. So whenever there is a edge, the intensity of pixels change. So 
bilateral filter is i hope the output of bilateral filter will be much better than the gaussian filter so now let us write a function which will give us an output for bilateral filter so bilateral blur equals cv2 dot bilat bilateral filter the original image plus rgb and the next parameters mm, the first uh, parameter that i give is the surrounding pixel surrounding number of pixels so let's for example i give it 23 and the next parameter is the standard deviation for color space so basically the value should be between 5 and 150 so i'll i'll give it as 51 uh, this was the standard deviation for color space now i will give the standard deviation for for coordinate space and even this parameter should have a value between 5 and 150 so i'll take it as 51 so i'll run this part of code and there is another spelling mistake i'll run it once again and next i will paste the same matplotlib function okay sorry and next i will paste copy the same matplotlib function copy and paste it here and i will change the instead of changing i will just copy this variable and i will paste it here and i will run this once again so this was an output of bilateral filter but it does not look any different than the original image but believe me it is actually different than the original image if you see the original image it is it it it, it looks almost similar to the original image but it actually is different so in order to see if if how the if the noise has been cleared out or the image has been smoothened let us use a small uh, small example of canny edge, edge detector which will detect the noise in this image so uh, for example let's take orig original noise uh, we'll see the noise from the original image and i will use the cv2 dot canny spelling okay canny edge detector and i'll use the original image and i will mention the the upper and the lower limits for the canny edge detector and once again i will just paste okay sorry i'll copy this matplotlib function as usual and i'll paste it here and i'll just change the variable name so it will be original noise so i'll run this part of code and it will show the amount of noise present and this, this is the original image and this is the amount of noise present in it now and i'll copy the same thing and i'll just change the variable name to the one which was bilateral filtered output so i'll just copy this bilateral blur and i'll paste it here in order to detect the noise from the filter output and this is the i'll change it once again here as well so bilateral noise copy and paste here and i'll execute and as you can see i use the same parameters the same parameters for the edge detection of canny edge detection and you can see the difference the bilateral filter actually filtered out good amount of noise and you can notice the edges that were detected using the canny edge detector so it it looks like uh, no noise was filtered out and the image was not blurred but in reality it was actually blurred and there was uh, really less no amount of noise and it even preserved the edges for the bilateral filter in comparison to the gaussian filter and but 
but really i like the median filter above rest of the filters it is uh, a personal choice so i hope you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching